That's me, Arthur. Hope you had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. Hey, Arthur. Lenny, all good here? Good. Stay alert. a man there with a body no bigger than a coconut. Speak seven languages? <laughs> okay. Oh, how'd it go in town? How you doing, Abigail? Abigail my, my, I do like this new haircut of yours. Uh, blame Trelawney. A real estate investors from New England. Everybody is following her. This after she placed a little explosive device. Here we go back. It'll be an almighty bang. So you think this big job's gonna work? Get everything packed. We're leaving. I tell you what, little Miss Romance. I was right. About what? Spanning me. How so? It ain't romantic. It's evil. <laughs> evil can be very romantic. Shut up. I talked to this couple in town. They told me there's this old rumor about people drinking blood. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Look, there in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Our Driscoll boys are coming!
Windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go!
okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <clears throat> he saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Trying to make sense of this. I'm scared. We'll be all right. Good morning. This has all gotten a little crazy. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at and go hit them back. How are you? Morning. It'll be okay, Molly. Okay? How is any of this okay? Karen and Sean are dead. Dutch is hardly speaking to me.
I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis on a riverboat? Oh, okay then. I wouldn't drink here though. Get on to Saint Denis and have you some Sazerac. Came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a the wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
be damned, Barry. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? <laughs> need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Damn, Barry. Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this. It's here. It's here. You've done good, Damn, Barry. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you.
Привет. Hey there, friends. Come. Stop all by for a moment. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this is for your horse, actually. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. Help the blind! Help the blind! Help a blind man! Okay, sure. Your whole life, sir. You have followed the wrong star. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. Howdy. Are you still here? Yep. What are you waiting for? I can't tell you what you want to hear.
Move it. Move it. On your knees. Cancers. You will not take up a moment you? longer than please, we got to. Please don't kill me. Oh man, just act like I ain't here, you please. Give me your money and your valuables <laughs> to my compadre here, and we will be on our merry way. Please, please. No, 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 no. Don't, don't hurt us. We'll give you whatever we got. Hey, all of it. All right then. Let's kill these sons of bitches and be done with it. Hardly worthwhile. Fun though. That it was. That it was. Let's head out, compadres. Tell them all it was the old Driscolls. Looking forward to the funeral. Some kind of rock in your boot? Hey. Now, you see, Helen, Acre here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves a face. You can't. Punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The night and the name. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh... Come on. <laughs> you really walloped him. Yikes! I'm fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! I like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Hey, hey, hit me again! Right here! Right here! Ooh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once! Give me your worst! I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. There's only one thing for it, then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. <laughs> They've come out his ears. <laughs> Gentlemen, yes, oh. 
I think so. Oh, I slipped. And I hope you killed the leprechaun. And he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? Come on, girl. You done good, girl. <laughs> yeah. What's in your head, friend? I knew you'd be back. Got everything you need. Yeah. Have a look. Mm. All right. Nice. Morning, friend. Good to see you again, fella. Feel free to browse. Good morning, fella. Okay, let's see what I want. Okay. Thank you. This should help. Bye now. Good to see you again, mister. Ready for a clean slate? Good day to you.
seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine.
these cowboys. I'm tired of them riding through the streets. Sans Denis never used to be this bad. One moment, please. Hey. This is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat? Perhaps. Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show, so... What's this show, then? Mr. Charles Chatterley. Go and see I just yourself. don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't I think it that it's Greek. Or could be Roman. That's far 
to modern for my taste. Look at these idiots. Just a terror. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you! That's it! Oh, yeah. oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch! Oh, you God. filthy little man! Oh. Oh. Come on, horse! We're leaving! Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie! Hey. All right. Well, and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on. I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. Allez, allez, vite! This way, this way, come on. I think we are okay. Huh? The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring. Huh? That, it was not. the gossip, but I hear Grover's been sleeping next to the pig. Damn folk, don't leave me the hell alone. Push them! I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases will have punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass! <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'll get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> Thank you. 